Hey guys, it's Toby. Um, if you can, well, some of you might know, depending on where you're coming from, to like where you heard from, heard about this video from. I think that made sense. Uh, I'm cosplaying as the tenth Doctor uh, without the overcoat because I don't have that yet, or the Sonic Screwdriver because I don't have that yet. Um, and the reason I am cosplaying the tenth Doctor is because I'm going to do a Doctor Who tag. Whee! All right, so if you don't know what a Doctor Who tag is, uh, it's like any other tag. You answer questions about the tag subject, which in this case is Doctor Who, so I will be answering questions about Doctor Who. Yeah. Okay, number one. Who is your favorite Doctor? Uh, Nine is my favorite. Like, out of all of them, Nine is most definitely my favorite. Uh, just something about him. I love the way he's serious, but also witty and adorable, and his big ears. I mean, who can resist the big ears? <laughs> uh, two. Who is your favorite companion? That is easy. Rose Tyler. I love the connection she had with the Doctor. Um, now I've only seen till halfway through ten, and I can't remember the old companions all that well. I did like Sarah Jane very much. Um, with the fourth Doctor, I believe. But I loved Rose and Nine and Ten, mainly Nine, because he, she was his companion throughout the whole first season. Uh, they had a really strong connection, and just the, um, their humor combined, uh, was brilliant. I just, I loved it. Uh, three. Which episode is your favorite? Uh, from nine season. No, I haven't only watched nine. I just really love nine. Um, it would probably be The Empty Child or, and, um, cause it's a two part. The Empty Child and The Doctor Dances. I love the humor in it. I also love how dark it is, considering it's World War II. Uh, the idea, like the concept of it, with the gas masks and the nanogenes is brilliant. Um, and the doctor dances. Oh yeah, plus the banana joke. Well, not really a joke, but the banana, he, it's brilliant. Bananas, I mean, the potassium. Uh, that, and the doctor dancing was, it just automatically put a smile on my face, and that's what I like about shows. If it can make me smile almost throughout the entire episode, then it's obviously a good episode. <laughs> Uh, what episode is your least favorite? So another two-parter. Um, I didn't like, like, they were good episodes, I just didn't, they didn't catch my interest. Um, what are they called? Human Nature and the Family of Blood, I believe. I didn't like those where, uh, the Doctor is John Smith. Um, they were good episodes, don't get me wrong, I just, they didn't catch my interest and I found them a bit boring. It just seemed to drag on, and I don't like that about some episodes. Uh, what would your reaction be meeting the Doctor? It depends on which Doctor. Um, I'd probably freak out a little on the inside, anyway. Um, but yeah, it really depends which Doctor, if that's a really broad question. Um, if you meet the Doctor, who would you tell first? Um... My friend Victoria, because she lo she has this habit of rubbing things in, whether it be about school or what she's doing or what she got, she always rubs it in. And uh, this way I could just be like, yo, I'm in the TARDIS. Huh. <laughs> uh, next question. Which Doctor Who moment made you cry the most? It didn't make me cry. Well, it made me tear up a little, but it didn't make me cry. Uh, the saddest moment so far would probably be... Bad Wolf Bay. Doomsday. Uh, when the doctor says goodbye to Rose. It wasn't the whole, like, confrontation that upset me. It was just the emotion that was put into it. Um, I mean, you, you can expect that from any, any fandom, but that episode in particular really was torture. In particularly, I can't talk right now. In particular, was torture. Um, 
when you board the TARDIS for the first time, what would you do first? Probably go exploring and get completely lost. Because knowing me, I would get completely lost. <laughs> um, which relationship, canon or not, is your favorite? The Doctor and Rose. I don't, yeah, the Doctor and Rose. Or Four and Sarah Jane. But yeah, those are the two that are my favorite. Uh, if you were a companion, what would your room in the TARDIS look like? It would have lots of books. That's for sure. Uh, other than that, just give me four walls and a bed and I'm good. But definitely lots of books. If you'd ask the doctor one question and it is guaranteed that he would answer it honestly, what would you ask him? Um, I don't really know. Prob I would probably ask what his name was. <laughs> Because nobody knows the Doctor's name. I at least don't think anybody knows the Doctor's name. I haven't gotten to the 11th Doctor yet, so I'm pretty sure nobody, it hasn't been revealed or even thought of, maybe, a little. Unless it's actually John Smith and, you know, the writers are just like, oh, let's just pretend he's a made-up character. Oh my gosh. But no, it's actually his name. Surprise. Plot twist. But I doubt that's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, last question. Yes, last question. Uh, when it's time to leave the doctor, you're allowed one souvenir from your travels. What would it be? It would probably be the fourth doctor, like, one of these, not all of them, obviously, because they're different doctors. Um, either the fourth doctor's scarf, the ninth doctor's jacket, or the tenth doctor's trench coat, uh, because clothing. <laughs> uh... Alright, well, that is it for my tag video. Uh, let's start doing questions of the day, because why not? Um, question of the day is, who is your favorite Doctor Who creature? Mine would probably be either the Weeping Angels or the... Sli no, I didn't like the Slipping. I don't know why I was just about to say that. Um, either the Weeping Angels or the Daleks, because who doesn't like the Daleks? They have egg whisks and plungers for crying out loud. Um, anyway, yeah, answer that in the comments below. Be sure to like, possibly subscribe, share it with your friends. Also, follow me on Twitter, uh, at Toby the Time Lord, capitals at the beginning of each word. Yeah, thank you for watching.